pumped for myself, pumped for all my teammates and coaches. Uh, for us to uh, to be two wins away and up two nothing right now in the World Series, that's uh, that's a good feeling. Um, just like them, you know, we, we never quit. And uh, yeah, we're down 2-0, but uh, you know, we're gonna stay positive and we're about to go home and uh, you know, hopefully try to win three games. Red Sox up 2-0. We're here at Fenway and the Dodgers have a lot of work to do going back into LA. Bob, break down how important David Price's performance was today given how he has struggled in October in his historic past. Yeah, this is two straight now. You know, 12 innings, two runs, 14 strikeouts. I mean, he's a man pitching just like he did in the regular season. And the way he's pitching, you know, it's going to be very tough for the Dodgers to come back. Besides, they got, you know, Rick Porcello and Nate Evaldi going games three and four. Those two guys have been their best postseason pictures uh, this, you know, in October. All right, let's talk about the Dodgers here. Mentally, it seems like things are kind of shaky. Um, whether that's just them being outmatched or maybe being overmanaged, how do they get back into this? And, and do you think that they can? I think the Dodgers can get back in, and obviously the odds are against them now. They have to win four games before the Red Sox win two, and so it makes the odds extremely long. You know, I don't know that it's a matter of psychology. I think it's just playing better baseball. And, you know, this in this game, I thought they, they played, I mean, they didn't hit well. Price was good. The bullpen was good. Uh, they played a, a fine game on the other side of the ball, outside of the one inning. It sort of just got out of hand. Ryan Madsen came in, allowed a few inherited runners to score. You can't have the walk in that spot. Uh, that's what that's what burned them, really. And, and you know, I think with a, a little bit better luck, uh, you know, maybe they can maybe they can win two in L.A. and and bring it back here. Okay, so if they do, who's going to be the X factor for L.A. to bring it back into Boston? It's so hard to pick because they have a deep they have a deep lineup. I think that probably their lefty heavy lineup is a little bit stronger than their righty heavy lineup, which is what we've seen against against Chris Sale and David Price, the the Red Sox lefties. So I, I would guess you know maybe a guy like Cody Bellinger, who we haven't seen a ton of in the series, so I make a great play in center field tonight, sure. uh, and and maybe he gets a little hot against the right-handed batters. I think the Dodgers have guys who who don't really fear. And the velocity that Yavaldi and, and Porcello bring, and maybe they, you know, play a little bit better. Well, hopefully this Dodger crowd comes out like the fans here at Fenway did, and it's going to be exciting no matter how it shakes out. And in the meantime, Spick with Sports Pulse, your heartbeat to what's trending in sports.